Hey guys, what's up? The Mac Helper here, and today I'm doing a um, Mac tutorial on some really good applications for cleaning up your computer, making it faster. Things like cleaning out your cache and things, log files, temporary files, things you don't really need. So I'm going to show you uh, three really good applications that do this very well. Um, the, the three are Clean My Mac, Mac Keeper, and Onyx. Clean My Mac and Mac Keeper are both paid and Onyx is a free application. So, to, uh, to, to tell you guys, uh, MacKeeper is probably the most advanced. Uh, I'll have a link in the description for these uh, for all these applications. MacKeeper is probably the most advanced. Clean My Mac is um, advanced as well, but it uh, you just let it just scans your whole computer and tells you what the you know what you have and how much it can get rid of. And then Onyx has a couple of options, but probably the most simple is Clean My Mac. You simply just open up the application, and what you do is you click scan down here, and you check what you want it to scan, like caches, logs, language files, universal, binary system, junk, extensions, things like that. And it can also um, it can also delete uh, applications for you, better than just dragging them into the trash. It actually gets rid of all the files, but um, it's not going to find very much because I've cleaned my computer just yesterday, but it'll find around. 300 megabytes sometimes uh, it's total space it's recovered is uh, 4.48 gigs so that's just gonna continue to scan and then when it's done I just click remove down here so that's how that works and it gets rid of um, things I don't need All right next is Mac keeper the Mac keeper has a lot of different features so I'm gonna try and make it quick and just explain it so the first thing you can do is um you can just click the one click scan and it'll just go through everything all of the different cleaners but that's going to take a while well it's going to kind of do it so binary cutter what it does is like if you're if you have an intel powered mac most applications are put into two different versions so they can uh be able to be played in the power pc and in the uh intel so this gets rid of the one that you don't use so uh, for instance i'm an intel mac so i don't use the power pc it'll get those applications that uh that use the that have the power PC that's just taking up space and it'll get rid of that. So I've already done this. That's why I'm only getting these couple. Of, cache cleaner just goes through and finds things in the cache. Duplicate fi duplicates finder is very helpful. Finds duplicates, things like that. Language cutter just cuts out these different languages. You choose what it want what you want it to do and it'll just find everything. Logs cleaner just gets rid gets rid of uh, just logs and things like that. You just click remove here or rescan. There's a lot of different options you have. And then old file finders is just things you haven't used in a long time. It'll just suggest that maybe you to get rid of them or to find them and things like that. You have other tools like backing up, data encryptor. You can choose what the for different extensions what the defaults are and things like that on this application. Disk usage, it'll tell you how much you have, what's taking what's the biggest files, things like that. A uh, login items, it just tells you what you have easier and then the shredder will delete things permanently off your computer undelete just to try and save things wise uninstaller just helps you uninstall things and then you have other different services so as you can tell this is a very complicated application but is very useful and it gets rid of everything it's very very good uh, for cleaning out your Mac so that's Mac keeper alright and last but not least is onyx this is a free application just installed it but I used to have it so I'm a little familiar with it this one is just simply it'll it'll like first it's gonna wanna check the status but, but I don't want it to check the status so for instance you just go to cleaning and you just click the things you want user internet and you just click execute execute and you'll have to restart after doing important things like clearing out your log files and things like that you'll need to restart to make it all work things like it's always good to restart after cleaning out things so this is how this works it does other it has a lot of other things but this is freeware so yeah these are the three my three of the best uh, applications for cleaning your Mac and getting rid of files that you don't need and always every now and then clean out your, your trash that's helpful as well to speed up your Mac Hope this helped, guys. Um, please uh, stay tuned for more videos. Uh, my new Twitter is uh, the Mac Helper, so I got a new Twitter. Please follow me there. I'm just gonna be doing some updates, telling you if a new video came out or.
some new news I hear about Apple when I get my new iPhone 4, things like that. So just stay tuned for that, and the link, uh, the links for these uh, three applications will be in the description. Thanks, guys. Bye.